the great thing about the CyberKnife is that the prostate actually moves um, as the bladder and the rectum fills, and the CyberKnife can actually track that motion and adjust the radiation beam so we're not missing the target. What that means is that we don't have to add extra margin to make sure that we don't miss, so we can treat men with five large doses of radiation. So this is your prostate, okay? Your prostate is actually moving as we're treating, okay? Radiation oncologists hate missing the tumor. So what do we do? We add a little bit of extra margin around your prostate so we don't miss the tumor. Now, that means I'm giving a little bit more radiation to your bladder, your rectum, and your penile bulb, all areas that I don't want to damage. If I actually track when I'm treating, I can use a smaller treatment margin and treat less bladder, rectum, and penile bulb. And that improves the quality of life of my patients. It allows me to treat in fewer fractions because I'm not treating a lot of those normal tissues. I can give the radiation in five fractions versus giving it in 42. It really adds value to patients' care because they feel like they're getting a very highly accurate treatment. They feel comfortable that they've gotten the best care possible. Um, and that's why I like using the CyberKnife. CyberKnife is really good for other tumor types. Um, it's highly precise. It has a one millimeter accuracy. It actually has rapid dose fall off, so you can hit the you can hit the tumor and minimize dose to the adjacent structures. This is really important when you're treating the prostate because you don't want to damage the rectum and bladder. It's really important when you're treating the pancreas because you don't want to damage the duodenum. When you treat people with lung cancer, they're generally smokers and they have very poor lung reserve and you don't need to damage as much adjacent normal tissue. Also, the CyberKnife can track things like respiratory motion. So tumors move as you breathe. So when they're moving, you can actually track them and just treat the tumor and limit the dose to adjacent to normal lung. So not only is CyberKnife actually good for the patient, it's actually good for society. It's cost effective. So giving five treatments with the CyberKnife is actually cheaper than giving 42 treatments with IMRT. So I think it has great quality and great value both to the patient and to society. The fact that I actually use a CyberKnife to treat my patients with prostate cancer allows me to sleep well at night. I don't have to worry that we miss the prostate or overdose the rectum in the bladder. I know that my patient's PSA is gonna drop and I don't have to worry about late complications that are gonna have adverse effects on their quality of life. The reason why I'm happy with the CyberKnife is because my patients are really happy. 